Baltimore White Marsh welcomes a new senior pastor. The Frederick and Hagerstown Spanish churches celebrate 21 baptisms. And Chesapeake pastors gather for a special ministerial meeting. This is Chesapeake Currents TV, and here are three things to know this week. First up, the Baltimore White Marsh Church warmly welcomed Vincent Deem as their new senior pastor on August 26. Deem brings a wealth of experience in pastoral ministry with a particular passion for working with multicultural congregations. Currently working towards an MA in Peace and Conflict Studies at the University of North Carolina Greensboro, he also holds an undergraduate degree in theology from Southwestern Adventist University. Deem expressed his gratitude for God's guidance over the past several years, as well as for the continued prayers and support from his family and friends. Next, the Frederick and Hagerstown Spanish churches recently held powerful evangelistic meetings culminating in 21 baptisms. The Frederick Spanish Church held meetings from July 22 to 29 with guest speaker and evangelist Alex Ramirez, and the Hagerstown Spanish Church held meetings from August 5 through 12 with speaker Jesus Santana. District Pastor Kelvis Romero said he praised God for the people who made decisions to be baptized, and he prays that the Word of God will continue to become more relevant to their lives. And finally, Chesapeake Conference pastors gathered at the conference headquarters on August 29 for a jammed packed day of ministerial meetings. The day featured a wide range of activities, including presentations from guest speaker John Earnhardt, who shared ministry lessons from his testimony of coming to Christ from an auto racing background. During the meetings, Pastors also officially welcomed John Renhifo and Shelvin Arunin to the ministerial department and bid a special farewell to outgoing director Eli Rojas, recognizing him for his years of service. Six pastors were also recognized for nearing completion of a clinical pastoral education course. For more information on these stories and for the latest Chesapeake Conference news and updates, visit our website, ccosda.org. We'll see you next week.